Hi, Maverick. Hey, bud. Oh, my goodness. Here. Hopefully he doesn't start crying. Um, we're going to talk about his diagnosis and how we found out about it. Okay, so we all know how they do the newborn screen before you're even allowed to go home from the hospital. Um, so they came in to do ours. They said it was their first day doing it in the room versus taking him out. Um, so they came in, did it. Uh, he didn't pass it. So they said, we'll come back in a couple of hours because it's probably just fluid. You know, he's still really fresh and that's super normal. So came back maybe three or four hours later, uh, <laughs> did the test and it was still a refer. So they made us an appointment for when he was about a week old um, to go and have the same test done with an audiologist. So we went and did the same newborn pass or refer test and he still didn't pass. So. Um, she then set up the ABR test, which is the brainstem uh, response test that kind of measures um, if the brain is really working, if everything is together and whatnot. So we did that about three weeks later. So he was pretty, he was a month, pretty much. Um, we, it was a lengthy test. It, we didn't get to finish it even with the two hour allotted time. Um, so she set up another appointment for two weeks later. But before that um, first appointment with the ABR ended, I asked her, you know, is there anything that you can tell me? Like, do you have to completely finish it before you can let us know any type of um, answer? She said, well, his, you know, ABR, his brain did pick up some. And that's pretty much all she told me. And she didn't really seem too ecstatic about it. So we kind of knew, you know, it's not going to be a very good answer. Um, so fast forward to Two weeks later, we do the second part of the ABR test, and this time it only took about an hour. Um, and I have a picture of what it kind of looks like um, where they place the electrodes on him. Um, and I'll place that in here too. They put two little stickies behind his ear, um, one on his forehead, and he had major trouble with the forehead one sticking. He's super oily, so she literally had to like rub his forehead five different times to go through a bunch of different stickies for it to actually work before she could get started. Um, and they put little plugs in their ears. Um, so the ABR consists of that. And then you, oh, he spit up. Um, okay, so as I was saying, um, the little plugs in the air um, have little clicks that go and they're testing each frequency. Um, but each frequency that's tested takes 2000 clicks. So that's why this was so lengthy. Um, she had to go through that multiple times and then she wanted to test different frequencies um, again so that she had a baseline and kind of could compare. So she did them at least twice. Um, so after the second test, she gave us a number. Um, 99 decibels is what he could hear or where the brain was picking up um, something. Um, not necessarily hearing, but more probably at that you know, the profound, um, severe, severe, I can't even talk, um, it's more of a vibration versus a sound to them. Um, so we got a number zero to 25 is normal and his is 99. I'm really not sure how far that scale goes. I want to say maybe 120 and then completely deaf. So he's pretty far. Um, but that's how we found out. Um, he's gonna have another ABR when he is six months old. Um, we met with the ENT. He kind of explained to us uh, what kind of uh, hearing loss Maverick does have. Um, it's called sensia neural, um, which means it's permanent. Um, conductive is something that could be reversed because it could be earwax or fluid or something in the ear. Um, that they can fix with like a you know tubes or go in there and take everything out um, but his is more of is there the hair cells even there um, if they are they're most likely not working um, and that the nerve is not working so it's bone and nerve
picture I was talking about. Sorry, I couldn't get it flipped. Um, but you can kind of see all the cords that they put on him. Um, again, it doesn't hurt him. He slept through the whole thing. It's just a lot of wires. Wrap your legs, put cross, cross your legs, legs buddy. Cross your legs? Yes, and hold on tight. Hold on tight all right. Ready? Whee! You look good the same size, huh? You can do it. Hold on tight. 